there's some significant challenges here at Dune Ray. It's a huge programme, but massive opportunities that come with it as well. In many areas, we're actually leading the estate on first-of-a-kind decommissioning missions. Um, the exotics programme has been a massive challenge. Uh, it's been a massive national priority, but it's been a huge challenge, and doing that safely, uh, I think, has been the overriding priority for the site. The removal of the breeder fuel elements from the iconic sphere behind me in DFR is an extraordinary human and engineering achievement. It's all remote operations, so it's very difficult to get access to. We involved the local contractors, we did a lot of off-site testing. We had two large tanks uh, that were uh, used for uh, storing sodium, uh, and over the course of the last year, we've uh, cleaned these tanks out, uh, size reduced it, and removed 38 tonnes of out-of-scope waste. Back in 2016, at the very start of the year, we kicked off the modifications project for doing PFR Raffinet. At that time, we were still processing the old waste stream, which was DFR Raffinet. PFR Raffinet is chemically similar, but um, it's uh, more acidic and the radiological hazard is much higher. Over the last year, we've completed the conditioning of all three cells in the facility. This involved the pouring of a, a concrete layer on the, the cell floors to level them the hoovering and painting of the cell interiors to remove and tie down any loose residual contamination in preparation for the cell demolition. In the last 12 months, D1204 has commenced decommissioning of the medium active cell. It's airline suit entries, this is decommissioning operators entering the cell, size reduction and dismantling of vessels and pipework in the medium active cell. What you see here today is the culmination of a 10 year project and as you can see the facility is completely decommissioned in the last year we've also demolished it now as well. We've invested 17 million, nearly 17 million pounds worth in maintenance this year. That includes 1.2 million pounds worth of asset upgrades and of course the, the 60,000 work orders that we've done uh, in the year. I'm incredibly proud of being able to lead the team here at Dune Ray so that we can step up to decommissioning excellence and really deliver value for the taxpayer.